Hi, this is Chad from Rykart Electronic Innovations. I'm going to walk through how to update GreenFit software to version 1.2.14. The first thing we need to do is have a connected PCAN USB hooked up to a laptop. The PCAN needs to be hooked on the ISO bus of the tractor or CAN1 of the GreenFit controller. And then we need to open up the service tool as you see in front of you. Uh, if everything is properly connected to the laptop, you should see green text uh, describing an OK status. Uh, from here, what we'll need to do then is hit the button here with the nine boxes. It'll open up all Rykart applications. And from here, we want to hit flash. Um, just to show you how this works, when I hit flash, you'll see a pop-up window right here. And at that point, what will actually happen is if you have a powered up GreenFit system, you'll see it actually populate with a software update yes or no and if i click on yes you'll actually hear the green fit controller power down here there's a little relay click inside of it and then it'll power back up saying it's ready to flash so go ahead i'll hit yes and if you listen for the click there's the click and then from there we go ahead and just hit the ok button and here you'll see the serial number of the green fit controller and then we need to select a hex file to flash. Uh, to do this, you hit the pencil icon right here on the right. And then you select the file that you want to flash. So in this case, we're gonna flash 1.2.14. It's a hex file. Once the hex file is loaded, you hit the lightning icon and it'll proceed to do the deleting of sectors followed by flashing. This process takes about five to 10 minutes depending on bus traffic. As you can see here, the flashing is nearly complete. Once complete, it'll get to 100% and you should have a green bar. At this point, we can power up the green fit controller again. To do this, you would click this button here in the lower right. Um, if you listen closely, you'll actually hear the relay in our green fit controller click on. Once it's powered up, it should start to load on the virtual terminal display. As you can see here, since it's newer software version, you'll have a new object pool that'll need to be uploaded. This is a one-time process with each new version. This process takes between 20 and 30 seconds to complete. And then once completed, we have a few additional steps to do in the GreenFit controller now that we've updated the software. We'll need to verify the version of software We'll need to enter in the vehicle code or overwrite the vehicle code to uh, adjust all the background settings to default and then rerun our calibrations. And then in addition, there's a special setting available with 1.2.14 software. Uh, I'll show how to go to and enable. So now that the object pool is loaded up, pop up, you may get some warnings with the system and that's completely acceptable. Um, what you need to do is go ahead and hit the escape button clear out any active errors. You can see here there's an EEPROM warning and that has to do with the change in versions and we will overwrite the code to reset those background settings. From here, select the green fit icon, hit the wrench button. Under the main menu, select diagnostics, hit the left arrow key one time and you'll see hardware software information. If you wanna verify the flashing, it's 1.2.14 GRE. We will have to put a pin code in. Um, this pin code is something that's available to, or available in any install manual. Uh, we need to just put the code in right here. Once this code is entered, then we can proceed through the remaining steps. After the code is entered, we wanna to go to the teach in menu. We wanna pick letter A for the vehicle code entry. In this case, we have a vehicle code for a FENT 1000 series tractor. It's also applicable on other FENT tractors. However, we do have more specific vehicle codes for those machines. Uh, to overwrite the vehicle code, which is very important to do for the background settings to be reset to default, go ahead and select this top box where it says steering mode, number four. And from here, a keypad pops up. Go ahead and just hit the OK button. And what we're just doing is overwriting with the same value. Um, go ahead and hit OK again and you'll get a picture of a floppy disk icon asking you to save changes. You'll hit OK again and the system should beep twice. 
and this will set everything to default in the background in the GreenFit system. And what that means is after this step, you will have to go back in to reteach the axle position calibration for left, center, and right. So make sure that is done. Um, your offset values will be defaulted again. And we recommend updating the letter E echo offset to whatever is recommended in our documentation. And then lastly, there is a new setting and that is under this gear icon, letter M. And if you go into the gear icon, um, you'll notice a new checkbox. It says activate new style. You'll want to enable this, or if you want to enable this, click the checkbox and then hit okay. And hit okay again to save. And what this new style mode does is it does change the scaling of the green star slider site slightly. Um, and I would refer to right card documentation in regards to the preferred green star sliders. However, in general with new style mode activated, you'll find that the sliders will be maybe slightly less extreme. So instead of going from 50 to 200, they may be closer to that hundred range for most of the slider values. Lastly, be sure to exit from the main menu press the escape button back to the green fit by Rikar page. Otherwise you will not be able to engage auto track.